You're here with Harvey County Sheriff T. Walton. And Sheriff, I want to ask you, uh, we've been seeing a lot of cars in the parking lot there. Have investigators made it inside the building yet? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, I, I left the scene at around 2.30 and they hadn't been in there yet. So they could be in there. Uh, that's all KBI agents that will be going in there and doing the crime scene investigation. Have all of the victims been identified and have all of the survivors uh, been accounted for? Yes, all the victims have been identified. I can't give those names out yet. Uh, we have a number of people in various hospitals in Wichita and here in Newton, uh, so they're scattered about. We were attempting to get a hold of everybody's family members. I believe we were close to getting all that done. I'm not sure if that's completed. Now, what about the 10 people who are critical? Has that changed overnight? Not that I'm aware of. Now, we're also hearing that you're saying this was not a, an act of terrorism. Can you tell us what the motive was? Uh, it, as far as we know, it's, uh, terrorism isn't involved. Uh, this particular person was served with a PFA, Protection from Abuse Order, at 3.30 yesterday afternoon, and the first shooting happens at 5 o'clock. So with that, I'm, I'm kind of thinking something triggered it, and maybe it was that a PFA that was served. And that protection order was a girlfriend, a family member who? Yeah, it's it's a girlfriend. Now, I know that overnight you were at his home. I'm told that some evidence was removed. Can you tell us if you found any weapons or bombs or what was removed? I, I don't know what was found or removed. Uh, they mentioned that the gun box was there. Uh, that's all I know right now and that a round had been fired inside the mobile home. Now, you and I have been talking a little bit off camera. You tell me you are familiar with uh, Cedric Ford. Correct. Yeah, he's spent some time in my uh, jail. Now, are you still looking for his roommate? I know that uh, his home was surrounded uh, in Newton because you thought someone was there that would not let officers in. You thought maybe it was a roommate and no one was in when officers did go in. Tell me about that. What's the latest on that? Yeah, we had a lot of uh, information going back and forth and uh, we were led to believe there was a roommate inside the mobile home that uh, wouldn't allow the officers in. <clears throat> the SWAT team made entry and there was nobody in there. So. And you're also telling me this is going to be two different investigations, a very long investigation. Right. We have the investigation of the shooting of all the victims that got shot, but also the officer that shot the shooter. That's an officer involved shooting, so that's a separate investigation. Lastly, what do you have to say about the officer who everyone is calling a hero who was fired on by the suspect, fired back, and not shot and killed him, but the officer was not hurt? He is an absolute hero. Uh, you got to realize there were two to three hundred more people in there. Two to three hundred more people left there, and if it wasn't for that officer, they may not have left there. The shooter wasn't done shooting. He was going to keep shooting.